Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In the last video, we studied C language data types. In today's video I will give an overview of digital logic gates and its function. Let's start the video. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And click on the bell icon. Binary logic. A computer use the binary numbers system because the two voltage levels can be represented as the digits 0 and 1. Signals in digital electronics have two distinct voltage levels. For example, a system may define 0 volt as logic 0 and plus 5 volt as logic 1. As shown in figure, from 0 to 0 0.9 volt is considered as logic 0. And from plus 3 volt to plus 5 volt is considered as logic 1. Bit. A bit is the smallest unit of data in a computer. A bit has a single binary value, either 0 or 1. Bit is the smallest part of data it should be 0 or 1. Byte. A byte is a unit of data that is 8 bits long. A byte is the unit most computers use to represent a character such as a letter, number, or symbol. A byte can also hold a string of bits that need to be used in some larger unit of application purpose. Nibble A nibble is a 4-bit or half byte. It is also known as half byte. You can see in the diagram. From here to there is one byte of data. That hold 8 bits. Start from bit 0, bit 1, bit 2, bit 3, bit 4, bit 5, bit 6, and bit 7. Bit 0 to bit 3 are low nibble. And bit 4 to bit 7 are high nibble. Bit 0 is LSB. Least significant bit. And bit 7 is MSB. Most significant bit. Logic circuits. And gate. The logic gate and has two or more inputs and one output. Let us presume that the gate used in this example has only two inputs. A logic 1 will appear on its output only if both inputs A and B are driven high. Table on the right shows mutual dependence between inputs and the output. Here is the symbol of the AND gate. It has two input and one output. If both input A and B are logic 0, then output is logic 0. If input A is logic 0 and input B is logic 1, then output is 0. If input A is logic 1 and input B is logic 0, then output is 0. If both input A and B are logic 1, then output is logic 1. OR GATE OR GATES also have two or more inputs and one output. If the gate has only two inputs the following applies, a logic 1 will appear on its output if either input A or B is driven high. If the OR gate has more than two inputs then the following applies, a logic 1 appears on its output if at least one input is driven high. If all inputs are at logic 0, the output will be at logic 0. Here is the symbol of the OR gate. It has two input and one output. If both input A and B are logic 0, then output is logic 0. If input A is logic 0 and input B is logic 1, then output is 1. If input A is logic 1 and input B is logic 0, then output is 1. If both input A and B are logic 1, then output is logic 1. NOT GATE The logic gate NOT has only one input and only one output. It operates in an extremely simple way. When logic 0 appears on its input, a logic 1 appears on its output and vice versa. It means that this gate inverts the signal and is often called inverter. Here is the symbol of the NOT gate. It has one input and one output. If input A is logic 0, then output is logic 1. If input A is logic 1, then output is logic 0. Exclusive OR gate. The exclusive OR X OR gate is a bit complicated comparing to other gates. It represents a combination of all of them. A logic 1 appears on its output only when its inputs have different logic states. Here is the symbol of the OR gate. It has two input and one output. 
If both input A and B are logic 0, then output is logic 0. If input A is logic 0 and input B is logic 1, then output is 1. If input A is logic 1 and input B is logic 0, then output is 1. If both input A and B are logic 1, then output is logic 0. NAND gate. A NAND gate is an inverted AND gate. It invert the AND gate output. It will give output logic 1 when any of input is logic 0. Here is the symbol of the NAND gate. It has two input and one output and it is sign of inverter. If both input A and B are logic 0, then output is logic 1. If input A is logic 0 and input B is logic 1, then output is logic 1. If input A is logic 1 and input B is logic 0, then output is logic 1. If both input A and B are logic 1, then output is logic 0. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And keep watching Star Technology 5G.